Let's do an example using the midpoint rule. This example will estimate this integral. We cannot take the antiderivative using any of the techniques we know, so we have no choice but to estimate it if we want it. And I'm telling you to use the midpoint rule and five rectangles. Rectangles. <laughs> so we're going from one to three. We've got this function. We could graph it on our calculator, but for the purposes of the midpoint rule, it doesn't actually matter what the function looks like. And we're going to cut this interval up into five evenly sized pieces in order to create five rectangles. And the midpoint rule says when we create the rectangles, we should use the midpoints. What are these pieces? Well, the length of any one of these five intervals is delta x equals the length of the interval b minus a divided by the number of rectangles. So two-fifths. And let's get a common denominator. We'll rewrite one as five fifths and three as fifteen fifths. And then we find the midpoints. And the midpoints are the averages of these values. So seven fifths plus five fifths is um, 12 fifths divided by two is 12 tenths. And nine fifths plus seven fifths is 16 fifths divided by two is 16 tenths, and so on. This picture's got in a little crowded. I put boxes around the midpoints. And now we use each of these points to create a rectangle. We go from y equals zero to y equals e to the x squared. So this distance is e to the x squared, where x is 12 tenths. So e to the 12 tenths squared. And that's the height of this rectangle. Its base is a two fifths. 
Uh, there it is, delta x. So the area of this rectangle I, is a two fifths times e to the twelve tenths squared. And then we repeat that process four more times for a total of five in all. You see, we just thug these midpoints into our formula to get the heights of the rectangles. Delta x gives us the base, so the base times the height. And we do that for all of the rectangles. And then we just add this up on our calculator. When we do type this into a calculator, this is what we get. Not the best approximation, it has to be said, but on a computer, you could easily use a thousand rectangles or ten thousand rectangles rectangles. The more you use, the better your approximation.